The San Luis Obispo City Council just approved adding more electronic buses to its fleet. I'm Dylan Foreman, your community reporter in San Luis Obispo as the city continues to slowly move toward zero emission public transportation. With two already here and six on the way, the city council approved the purchase of two more electric buses, bringing their fleet up to 10 and putting the city in the driver's seat on their way to complying with the state mandate to make transit agencies convert to 100% zero emission. I mean, come 2026, we'll have about 10 of these. Does that excite you? Yeah, I am excited. Rick Castile has been driving buses with slow transit for the last eight months and found that not only does he enjoy the smoother, quieter electric bus, but so do his passengers. They like it too. They, they uh, like the quietness of it, uh, uh, all about it, the cleanliness of it. But it's harder than you might think to pull it off. The San Luis Obispo Regional Transit Authority Operations Manager Omar McPherson explains that there are three unique challenges to creating a zero emission fleet, the energy used, the costs and the most recent development, lack of manufacturing. It went from where we were getting buses in 14 to 16 months. Now we're at um, two years out. And the energy needed to charge just one bus would be simple enough, right? Wrong. Why don't we use solar to charge buses? For one bus, it takes a football field of solar arrays to actually power one bus for one night. Here's the timeline for zero emission public transportation in the state of California. By 2026, 25% of replacement buses must be zero emission. By 2029, all vehicles purchased must be zero emission. And by 2040, all vehicles operated must be zero emission, meaning no more diesel or gas powered engines. That challenges that we, but it's also an opportunity um, for us to deal with electrification. According to the city, the buses are expected to be delivered in summer of 2026. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Dylan Foreman, KSBY News.